This is the blade wood processing system, shown with an Autodeck staging conveyor. The Autodeck comes with every blade system unless an automated infeed system is purchased instead. It's very important to load lumber on the Autodeck properly to avoid problems at the saw. A bunk of lumber typically sits at the front side of the Autodeck. Standing here, you move each board from the bunk to the Autodeck. Make sure that you call any lumber that is outside the quality range of your company standards. Using the boards that are acceptable, place each board onto the Autodeck on its larger side. If it's a 2x4, it should lay on its 4-inch side. Also, every board should be placed onto the auto deck so its end closest to the saw is butted up against the auto deck fence, which is the metal bar shown here. As you can see, these boards are not properly aligned up against the fence. Loading problems are likely to occur when the boards reach the end feed rail. Most problems at the end feed rail can be prevented by aligning each board with a fence when you place it on the auto deck. How the board should be placed is also affected by imperfections that may occur in the board. Some specific imperfections to look for are shown. In this example, we're assuming the boards are 2x4s to make it easier to define which surface we're talking about. Remember, any imperfections should fall within your company standards. Any imperfections that fall outside of these standards should be called. Warp is when the boards curve up or down when on its 4-inch side. Some people call this a bow in the board. Place warped boards onto the auto deck with a curve pointing up when possible. Wane is a defect in the board where there is either bark or insufficient wood along an edge, like when a portion of the corner is missing or rounded off. It's especially important to cull extreme wane because the clamps can't grip the board because there is not enough parallel surface area. If the wane is minor, though, try to place the board so the wane is on top and toward the saw. A crown and a board curves toward the front or back when lying on the 4-inch side. Place a crowned board onto the auto deck so the curve is facing toward the side where the bunk is sitting when possible. Sometimes a board has more than one imperfection, and then you need to make some choices. Crown takes priority over Wayne. Keeping Wayne on the top edge takes priority over keeping Wayne toward the saw. Crown and Wayne take priority over warp. Another factor that helps prevent jams is using the lumber stops. Lumber stops are pneumatically controlled using the manual switch on the auto deck control station. You might think their only purpose is to separate two different jobs that are on the auto deck, but they can do so much more. Use them to create space within a single job so it will reduce the amount of pressure on the boards as they near the load arms. This is really important when lumber links vary within a job. If you can provide some space between a group of short boards and a group of long boards, it will keep the long boards from misaligning as they travel the auto deck. To recap, remember to cull poor quality lumber. It's not worth the problems it will cause down the line. Always lay the boards on the auto deck on the larger side, and make sure the end is bunted up against the auto deck fence. Make sure you notice any imperfections in the wood, and lay the imperfection as discussed. Take pressure off the boards near the end feed rail by using the lumber stops. Follow these guidelines every time you load lumber onto the auto deck to avoid jams and possible damage to the saw system.